seems to have cropped up quite a few times over the past couple of weeks. Um, doesn't need adding to or taking away or anything like that. But something that I personally went through and quite a lot of people have experienced exactly the same thing. So it's more of an encouragement than, than anything else. Lord, you're an awesome God, a faithful God, an honest God, a rewarding God, a loving God. And the one that just gives us grace over and above. Father, we, we can't imagine the pain and the loss that it was for your son. But what he did for us was so awesome to get us where we are. And that's free in you. Living for eternal life. One thing I've experienced is that the Holy Spirit is full of a mini movement because sometimes, you know, the Holy Spirit gets going, <laughs> get pace here, and it's one of the lucky moves. But it's full constantly of surprises. Some to you may not be what you think the best of surprises. But the end result, that's the best surprise. Because we want it done in a certain way, we expect it done in a certain way, we think that we know how he's going to do it all, and he comes and relieves us. I mean, Dave was sharing in the week that the 12 o'clock after we've heard it so many times, that 12 o'clock. I'm sure it's there. And then God comes up with something and shows us that it's not quite at 12 o'clock. But it's the excitement afterwards because at the time you're, you're, you're holding on to the, a little bit of fear and a bit of worry. And then God's like, look, come on, I'm using this as an example here. Just let it go so we can, I can show you the end result. 